Welcome back, dear viewers, to part two of our Superman Kingdom Comes comics narrative. Buckle up, because things are about to get intense. Batman's forces ambush Luther and his conspirators, but are unable to restrain Batson, who transforms into Marvel and flies off. While Wonder Woman leads the Justice League to the prison riot, Superman confronts Batman. Batman tries to justify inaction, saying the world would be better off if all the metahumans destroyed each other. However, Superman knows that Batman will act, because his entire crime-fighting life is based upon the desire to prevent the loss of life. Moved by Superman's sentiments, Batman tells him that Captain Marvel is under Luther's control and is on the way to the Gulag. Superman races to the prison, but upon arrival is struck down by Captain Marvel. The Gulag is breached, freeing the population and inciting war between them and the Justice League. Batman's army arrives on site as an intervening third party, but is unable to stop Wonder Woman from killing the supervillain Von Bach, which increases the fury of the riot. As the repercussions of the prison break ripple through the superhero community, a clandestine meeting takes place. Batman, Wonder Woman, and a select group of Justice League members gather in the Batcave. The tension is palpable as they grapple with the ethical conundrum before them. Batman, still haunted by the earlier confrontation with Superman, argues against their intervention, insisting that the metahumans must resolve their own conflict. Wonder Woman, however, vehemently disagrees, saying that they have a duty to prevent further loss of life. The others are torn, their loyalties tested in this unprecedented crisis. As the debate rages on, the seeds of a plan are sown. Despite their differing viewpoints, they all agree on one thing. The escalating conflict must be stopped, and the first step is to intervene in the war brewing at the Gulag. Just as they are about to disperse, an alarm blares through the Bat Cave. Batman's advanced surveillance system detects an unidentified object moving at high speed towards their location. It's Captain Marvel, still under Luther's control. The heroes brace themselves for a confrontation, ready to defend their sanctuary. That's it for part two. Don't forget to subscribe and like to find out how it all ends in the next part. As conditions worsen, United Nations Secretary General Wormwood authorizes the deployment of three tactical nuclear warheads, hardened against metahumans. In the middle of their fight, Batman and Wonder Woman see the incoming bombers piloted by the Black Hawk Squadron. They break off fighting and manage to stop two bombs, but miss the third. Captain Marvel uses his lightning bolt as a weapon against Superman, who manages to grab Marvel and allow the bolt to transform him into Billy. Holding Batson's mouth shut, Superman tells him he's going to stop the remaining bomb. Batson must make a choice, either stop Superman and allow the warhead to kill all the metahumans, or let Superman stop the bomb and allow the metahumans' war to engulf the world. Superman tells Batson he must be the one to decide, as he is the only one who lives in both worlds, a man, as Batson, and a god, as Marvel. Batson, his mind now clear of Luther's influence, turns back into Captain Marvel. He flings Superman to the ground and flies after the missile. Marvel intercepts the missile and shouts, Shazam! three times in rapid succession, detonating the bomb prematurely and killing Batson in the process. Subscribe and like to know how it all ends.